Hello, this is H.E. Baby, and welcome back to Boss Time, and let's play Destiny of an Emperor against Ganning and Lusu. Now, this battle can be pretty tricky because Ganning has a lot of strength, and I would like to recruit him to replace Zhang Ren eventually. And there's also Lu Su, who not only has a lot of intelligence, but the devastating Jimion tactic there. And he's got a 50% chance of using that in the first round. So what I want to do is I'm going to use Jimion, even though there's only the one general who I really care about, their physical attacks, because he can just deal so much damage there. And also, for everyone else, I'm going to use Beiji because if I, let's say, used Power Pills against Lu Su just to try and knock him out really quickly, if Lu Su uses Jimion in the round, he'll probably go first, and then I waste all of those tactics there, or all of those Power Pills there. So, in the first round, I like to focus on buffing up and then I'll give Power Pills a try, because in the next couple rounds, he'll be less likely to use Jimion. But he's got it going now. We've got it going. Let's see who holds up. Both of us do. Okay. So now I pretty much can't do a whole lot here. So what I'm going to do is... Let's see. Let's go with Dare on Genning with my with some of my generals not all of them though because some of them just don't have a lot of intelligence to use that how about you get a little healing going in on yourself and then let's see the rest of us yeah we'll just go with dare since we can't use water tactics in this battle no matter what direction you attack the castle ow well, as long as we're above a thousand soldiers, I think we'll be fine. Wow, we're getting a lot of hits in there. Wow, that worked out better than I thought it would. And Jimion is gone now. It's a three and eight chance for both sides for it to wear off. But it checks them individually. Okay, so now I... Actually, hold on. Let's go get a little healing from a chow. And then I want everyone to go with power pills on Lusu and hopefully kill him before he uses Jimion again. I think in the third round here, he has a 33% chance or somewhere in that area of using Jimion, that is. All right, got it. Easy enough there. Don't even need Beiji on Zhang Ren there. We'll just go all out and wrap everything up. And for defeating them, we gain another level. And by the way, as far as uh, agility goes for my party members right now, uh, Zhang Ren is 207, Madai has 180, Huang Zhang is 152, Machao has uh, 176, and Zhao Yun has 201 with Chitu Ma helping out. And for gaining or getting up to level 27, we finally learned the Almighty and Sha tactic, which me literally means to assassinate. Instant death to a single general and all of their soldiers, even if they have over 10,000 of them. In order to learn it, though, you need to have between 180 and 230 intelligence. So Zhuge Liang is too smart for his own good there. Now, what I want to do is reverse the order of my tacticians. Uh, this time, putting Masu in the seventh slot, since the tactic for level 28 requires 255 intelligence to learn, so I will avoid triggering the chest glitch there. And this also enables me to switch to Masu as my tactician when I have a boss fight where I want to use in Sha. So I'm going to be having two tacticians for the remainder of the game. So let's see, uh, where are we anyway? Jianan Castle in uh, Wu Province. And let's see, yeah, definitely need to rest up after that one. I'm really surprised all of those Da Rei tactics went through. 
because it's like, uh, I think if you have less between 10 and 50 intelligence more than the target, you only get like a 50% chance or 50% accuracy there. Something like that. But let's take a look around. Oh, okay. Poyang. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we can't go to the south, unfortunately. There's not really anywhere else we could go at the moment. Oh, okay. What about him? Oh, okay. So that's why we got that there in the way. Sure, why not? Could be useful. Oh, okay. What kind of powder? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we need to find a way, to, well, to do this in order to get across the canal there. Saltpeter, which I think means, like, a sodium nitrate or a potassium nitrate, something like that. It's a component for the explosive. Oh, okay. Well, you already got the sulfur. So now we need to find, I guess, some wood and saltpeter to get the job done. And let's see, over here, now that we are in Chapter 7, they start selling Elixir D. I'm not going to buy it right now, but they are available. But yeah, there's nothing else that I really need to... Well, there's nothing I need to buy, but I would like to sell, let's see, Zhao Yun's weapon there. We're going to be finding another one in just a moment. Get that out of the way, and we'll be good to go. I don't need to restock on power pills just yet, but I do want to do that eventually. Oh, well, yeah, that's what the, the other guy was saying there. Something about that. Unfortunately, the wells in this town are just ordinary wells, indeed. Oh, okay. So that's Mount Poyang that uh, the other guy was talking about there. I don't need to buy any more provisions. But let's see what else we got around here. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's what they were telling us about. Oh! You just happen to have one right there in our general vicinity ready to go okay sounds good so let's see if we go above the tree we find another scimitar and i want to give that over to uh, Zhao Yun there since he also has 245 strength so it's a bit more powerful than the battle axes. And then if we search below the tree, yeah, there we go. We got the dead wood. And yeah, now all we need to do is get the saltpeter. So let's see. Yeah, I want to get that over to, I guess, Jigalian. Just keep it from cluttering the inventory there. So now let's head north to Mount Poyang. And if I can, I would really like to uh, find Ganing while we're there. Okay, so, yeah, pretty good strength there. And there. Okay, so, I think we'll be okay going all out on this one. Or maybe not. Ow. Hmm, I'll keep going like this. The cave is not extraordinarily big. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, get out of there. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's get a little healing going there. And then I think we'll be okay. Okay. Hooray! Alright, so let's see. All the way up here. There we are. We've made it to... Mount Poyang. Can we find the saltpeter inside? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.